Hey guys, Basil here with a quick run through of Android N on the Xperia X. The Android N Xperia X concept build is available freely to download if you're in Europe with your Xperia X. All you have to do is jump into the Google Play Store and download the concept installer app. I'm gonna talk you through the whole user interface in a sec, but if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything we do. Right, let's talk about this. Left-hand side, you can see you've got the Google Now pane. Long press the home screen, jump into settings, and it's all very nice and toggleable. Google Google Now Paint to the left-hand side. You can also control a few more elements like you could with the Xperia XZ Paint Transition, etc. There's also app recommendations, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. Jumping home, you can see you've got your home screens pinch out or long press will give you your widgets options, wallpaper options, or home screen settings options. Um, and pull down from the top, you can see you've got toggles so flashlight for example without even having to tub, uh, double pull down if you do double pull down you have your full toggles and a second screen of toggles and these are all editable as well this includes the android n easter egg and the way to enable that long press the android n icon and you can see an x there long press it again and you can see a little cat there pull down from the top and you can see you've got your treat tap your treat, empty dish, you can fill your dish with anything you want and that's how you attract cats and then you can give your cat a name and then do nothing with them. Yeah, it's not particularly interactive, it's just a little bit of fun. Right, spent enough time on that. What do we talk about now? How about the applications tray? The apps drawer is, uh, as you can see, pretty traditional in a lot of respects. Um, you can tap three dots to the right hand side, sort your apps in a range of ways, manage your applications, so uninstall them. You can also grab that window by long pressing one of them. And to the left hand side, there is that suggested applications screen we saw earlier in the settings. You can also search your applications as well. In addition, pull down from any of the home screens and here you can get your universal search too. So it's a pretty simple user interface, nothing too new from Sony. It's pretty much bringing the advancements from Android N in line with the Xperia XZ UI. One thing that we haven't mentioned though is multitasking. So if I was to open up in Chrome, long press the multitasking button so you can actually now have split screen working and you can see the Android N icon and the settings are here. Um, now, it doesn't look like you can change beyond half and a half, uh, but that's probably sensible on a phone this size. Does appear to run relatively smoothly though, which is good. What do you guys think? You happy with this being the next Xperia update on your phone, whichever phone it may be? Hopefully it rolls out to the full Xperia Z5 Line 2. That would be great. But give us your thoughts in the comments section below. Like this video, click like, and like I said, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you're gonna stay on top of everything that we do here at BTECT. Thanks for watching.